I don't think that police is going to rely only upon the so-called confession of Aftab before the police, because that is not a legal admissible evidence, number one. But no doubt, whatever the revelation which Aftab is giving to the investigating agency, police would like to investigate a further. Now, it appears that the entire case rests on the circumstantial evidence. Now, it is a very subtle principle that police will require to collect pieces of the circumstances to connect the accused with the crime. Now, according to my experience, it is not necessary that corpus delicti must be found. But if investigation arrives at a conclusion that the accused had committed the crime, then they will require to find out what are the circumstances which connect the accused with the crime. Number one is about the motive behind the killing of Sadda. Number two is how he had killed. Now, no doubt the police are trying to find out certain the dead body parts of the Sadda. Now, the forensic evidence would play a very vital role in the crime. Now, what you are talking with the police officer about the narcotic test and all these things, uh, let me tell you very frankly that narcotic test is not in a uh, legal admissible evidence. Hmm. It is only aid to the investigating agency to find out whether the accused revelation is correct or not, so police can rope their further investigating the matter. But let me tell you very frankly that this is the biggest challenge to Delhi police to find out, and there are the certain pieces of circumstances because both were staying in one house, so last seen together. Once the police would establish that lastly the deceased Sadda was seen with the accused, alive, Sadda was seen lastly alive in the company of the accused, that is Aptab, then the burden shifts on the Aptab, what he had done. It. So, it is, you see, it is a very, very, very important theory of last scene together. Now, admittedly, Sadda and Aptab were staying in one house. They must have been seen by the neighbors on the last occasion. And the police will require to find out that who had seen lastly alive Sadda in the company of Aptab. So I think uh, uh, it's a very good challenge, challenging case. And I have conducted such number of the circumstantial evidence case. Uh, in one case, I, we police didn't find the corpus delicti also. But we have established that the accused has committed the murder. And we have shifted the burden on the shoulder of the accused. In very exceptional cases, the burden goes on the accused also. Because there is a certain provision under section 106 of the Indian Evidence Act and the burden goes on the accused. So uh, I think, uh, and I always believe that the when case rests on the circumstantial evidence, it is more important than the eyewitness account. Because human, may, human being may tell lie, but circumstances do not. Because circumstances are contemporary in nature and they are contemporary in question in the, in, with the incident.